Hey guys, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. So if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Boomerangs are so much fun to play with. In today's video, we'll see two boomerang DIYs that you can make at home. For the first one, take an A4 size paper and cut it exactly in half. Next, fold this piece of paper in half lengthwise. Make sure that the fold is neat and the edges are aligned. Fold both sides of the paper towards the middle line as shown. Fold this in half. Next, fold the edges of the top corner into triangles as shown. Turn the paper around and repeat the same. Once you open the paper, you should see creases in a cross shape. Open one of the bigger folds and push the creased diamond from behind till you get a hollow shape, something like this. Pinch the top corner of the diamond and hold it against the upper fold. Next, turn the upper fold in the direction of the lower fold as shown. Grab this strip and fold it down and you should get something like this. Fold down the upper strips as shown. Now we'll tuck this end neatly. Unfold this strip and push this one inside first. Make sure that all the folds are neat and aligned. You should get this pattern on one side and a diagonal line on the other. The previous step is done so that one wing of the boomerang has an opening in the inward side and the other end on the outward side. This will help the boomerang to return. Finally, for the ends of the boomerang, open up the strip and fold the edges into triangles. Open one of the triangle and fold it inside out. This way we can make a little pocket for the other triangle to tuck in. Repeat the same for the other side as well. This side has three strips of paper on one side and one on the other. The triangle that has to be folded inside out here is the one with three strips. Flatten and press down on the boomerang so it's straight and free from any creases or air pockets. The one with the diagonal line is the upper side of the boomerang. Hold it in the middle and at an angle, throw it using your wrist as shown. For the second DIY, take a piece of cardboard. Make sure it's not too thick or too thin. 
next, use one of the corners that is in a right angle and mark 4 cm length on both sides. Make another mark of 1 cm from the edge of the piece. Draw a curve on the edges of the 4 cm mark and it should look something like this. Use a pair of scissors to cut this out. Cut a rounded edge on this corner as well. And that's it, the mini boomerang is ready. Keep it on your hand as shown. Point it in the upward direction at an angle and flick it like shown. Now let's try them out. When we throw a boomerang in the forward direction and with an angle, it starts to rotate and this causes it to take a curved path instead of a straight one. While it's rotating, both the wings create lift at different cycles of the rotation and this unbalanced force causes the boomerang to turn and come back. If you try this DIY, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next week.